in your third trimester and thinking about packing your hospital bag. You see so many people giving you different advices, different websites, giving you different list of things to take to the hospital and you're so confused. Now what I want you to do is watch this full video before you start packing or even thinking about packing your hospital bag. Because in this video, I'm going to give you five very important tips on what you should know before you start packing your hospital bag. So stay tuned. Hi, I am Saranya, the founder of Babypedia, a birth professional and a life coach for pregnant women. So let's look at what does a hospital bag mean. So hospital bag is nothing but, you know, packing everything for yourself and your baby and maybe your birth partner and having it ready before you go into labor. So this is essentially the bags that you will take to the hospital when you go into labor. Okay, so everything that you need for your stay when you go to deliver your baby will be in the hospital bag. Right. Now, before you pack your hospital bag, I have a couple of things that I want you to know. Number one, ensure that you pack your hospital bag at at least 33 weeks of pregnancy. Don't wait till you're 35 weeks, 36 weeks, 37 weeks or even near your due date. Yes, I know in India, a lot of families will tell don't pack your bag because you know, um, it's not okay. People will look at it and we have a lot of societal constraints, right? A lot of myths, but please don't listen to that. Want you to pack your hospital bag by 33 weeks because in case you have to be admitted earlier. God forbid nothing happens, but just in case you have to be admitted earlier or you go into preterm labor, I don't want you to panic thinking about what will I do for all the things for my baby or for myself. So once all that is packed and kept, one thing is ticked off your list. It will reduce a lot of the mental stress that you will be having as you near your due date. Okay. The second thing is keep the packed bags in a common place that anybody can access in your house. It could be near the front door or you have a lobby or you have a guest bedroom somewhere where anybody can access because if you go, you are in the hospital and you're sending a friend over or your mother over or even your husband, they should be able to easily access all these things and bring it to the hospital to you. Or even if you're at home and your due date has come and you're going into labor and you, there's a chance where you have to rush to the hospital immediately. You don't panic and you don't forget some things, right? Everything is there near the door. So you just pick all those bags, put it in the car and then you go to the hospital. Okay. Then the third thing is your partner or whoever is going to be with you, your mother, your husband, that person should know all the contents of your hospital bag and where each one is kept. So have them with you when you are packing your hospital bag. This is very, very important because when you are in labor and the doctor asks for something specific or you are sleeping after giving birth and you know they want to take care of the baby, they should it should be easier for them to access everything. They shouldn't be searching for it in the last minute. Fourth thing that you have to do is always pack a few extra clothes. Because anything, you know, the hospital is not a very sterile place and then labor is not a very clean process. A lot of bodily fluids will be involved. So it always helps to have backup. For example, if you're packing your labor gowns, don't pack just one or two. Ensure that you have three or four on hand so that, you know, if you're going, if you're in labor for two days or two and a half days, you can always keep changing your dresses whenever you feel necessary because you will sweat. You may, you know, uh, your amniotic water bags will break. So you will be trickling that it. It could leak onto your clothes. You may feel like vomiting. A lot of things are happening, right? A little bit of blood could uh, stay in your labor dress. So you may want to change into something fresh so that you feel much better. So always pack a little extra even for your baby. Finally, one of the most important things I think you should know is always buy your baby's clothes, wash it in warm or hot water and then pack it for your baby. For a second, just imagine the whole process that has that your baby's clothes has gone through when it was in the factory. There's one person dyeing it, there's one person cutting it, there's one person stitching it, there's one person packing it. In the shop, how many times has the sales girl shown it to other prospective mothers? How many people have touched it? So no, don't ever make the mistake of going to the shop, buying it and coming and putting it onto your baby. Each and everything that touches your baby's skin has to be washed before. It can touch your baby skin because your baby skin is very, very sensitive, very, very delicate and your baby can get allergies or infections very easily. We don't want that to happen, right? Because it's going to cause a lot of discomfort for those tiny, teeny little ones. So always wash your baby's clothes before you can make your baby wear them. 
okay so i hope these five tips helped you so i will give you the link to another video in the description where i will give you a lot of essentials that you will have to pack in your hospital bag so stay tuned take care and if you like this video don't forget to like it share it to somebody who else who would benefit and subscribe for more such interesting videos take care lots of love and strength to you this is saranya